Well, it's first day at the first RV park and already we're doing repairs. It's part of it. Well, what I'm doing today is I'm replacing my entry door lock. The entry door lock will lock from the outside with the key, but from the inside, it would not lock. Figured out it's a little pin that actually goes between the two. And they don't make replacement parts for these kind of things. You just buy a new lock. Luckily, it was only 41 bucks. I went and picked it up at the local RV store. I'm installing it now. Um, if you're doing the same thing, I'll show you kind of what you do. On the inside, you'll see your handle. You're just gonna take the four screws out. There's one, two, three, four. On the inside of the door, you'll see there's two more. Once you take those two out, this will just pop off. This thing is kind of wedged up in there from the front. And so you just kind of pull it out like that and work it out in that kind of motion. Once you get both of those out, then you take a good look at it, make sure that it's actually broken and you didn't go buy something for no reason. Mine is, I need the parts that they don't make. So we're gonna put a new one in. Next step, inside of your box with your new parts, you'll see this, which is the same thing we just pulled out of it. It's just put together. I sat there looking at it for a while, trying to figure out why it wouldn't come apart, and got the idea that, hey, maybe you pull that clip apart, you don't. You just pull on it hard enough and these two will come apart. Um, we're gonna kind of install it the same way, just in reverse of what we did to pull the first one, the original one off. So, and, uh, my little baggie, it's got my bolts in it, my trim pieces. They actually, it looks like, they give you the four bolts for the inside, the two bolts for the edge of the seal that I showed you. And then it looks like they also give you trim piece for the door and a new trim piece for the frame itself. Um, normally I wouldn't put the trim piece on there, but hey, you got the trim piece, put the trim piece. We're gonna have to kind of come in at an angle and work it in flat. We're not just gonna be able to stick it in. Now, when you put this on, you just need to line this right here up with a little dowel pin. It's got a flat side. You gotta look at it, make sure that it's in the right position. Tell you what, it's windy out here for sure. I'm gonna blow my door away. two of them in there to hold it in place. I'm not tightening these down all the way. I'm just getting them in. I'm going to take my little face plate for the inside.
now we'll now we'll get all of the bolts snug now. Something to keep in mind is this. When I was looking at this, there are different types of locks, but I mean I'd say there's not, it's not like there's 50, 60 different types of lock. There's probably like five, 10 different types of locks for RVs. But this one does not have like a rubber seal going around on the inside of this, nor does it have that on the other side. But the door itself has foam in it, so the door will flex, it will compress. And when you're tightening these down, you don't want to just put a little bit of torque on it. This is, I believe, aluminum, so you can't strip it out, but you do want to make sure that these are tightened down a little bit so that it sandwiches that door and seals it up. That way you're not getting water in there. Tighten the trim piece up. And lastly, we'll come over to the door. Hey, gotta have that little bit of shine. Same thing, but then when you look at this trim piece, one side, looking at the bolt holes, one side, it don't come out as far as this side. This side is gonna go along the edge, this outer edge. Locks great. Check the inside lock out. Let's get that turned over. Yeah. You'll see it come out. Well. I think that's about it. That's how you install an RV door lock. Probably wasn't the best video, but if you're in a pinch like I am, and it's raining, you just moved into a park, you want to be able to lock up your stuff, this is how you can do it pretty quick. Did it for under 50 bucks, and took me less than five minutes. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching.